Hey guys, welcome back to another Xcode 4.2 tutorial where we're building an app from the ground up. Pretty exciting. Anyways, we got done with the first view, just basics of, you know, formatting, making it look good with the logo, image view, all that stuff. And now we're going to move on to the second view where we're actually going to hook in a website. We're going to have basically as they click the, the second tab bar item, it's going to take them to a website that we specify. In this case, we're just going to go to mybringback.com. You could go to Google or your site, whatever you want in there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click the label on screen. We're going to delete it. We're going to click the text view. We're going to delete it as well. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to the objects. And you'll see I've already got a web view object already highlighted. We're going to click and drag that onto the screen. I'm going to fill the whole screen. You can do whatever you want with it but I'd recommend filling the screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook this web view up to the class that we have associated to this view controller. Now if you're unfamiliar with how to find out what class is hooked up to what view controller and so on and so forth, I'll show you now. And so what you're going to do, uh, you got to zoom out because you got to select your, your view controller. The other way you could do it is select it this way down by uh, selecting the view controller object here and that basically selects everything and it showing and now I'll show you where to find the class that's associated so once you've got it selected go up here to the identity tab and once you click that you'll see the class that is associated with this view controller here so in this case our second view controller is hooked up here so that's what we're gonna have to edit and put in the code to actually program this web view so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a quick shortcut you could go in and write in the second view controller IB outlets web view whatever else and then uh, go in the, the .m and, and uh, synchronize that but what I'm gonna do is show you a little shortcut if you go up to the editor up to the top and you turn on the assistant editor so as you can see we've got two windows open now we've got one with the storyboard and we've got one with it looks like code of some sort and uh, we want to make sure that this right here is going to be the class that's associated with our second view so if you go up to the top or if you see right here this is going to be our second view controller we want to be in the dot h file which is the header and this is where we're going to establish our objects our outlets and our actions and then we're going to go to this dot m file here and we're going to tell the UI web view or the web view what to do with the the code that we want it to do so once you're in the second view controller dot h we're gonna go over to the, the left here and you're gonna select the UI web view and once you've selected that you're gonna hold control click and drag over into your second view controller dot h and then drop drop it under the screen let go of your your mouse there now as you can see it prompts you with a connection of an outlet and you have two options an outlet or an outlet collection in this case we're gonna go with an outlet and we're just gonna name this web view no particular naming methods here just just anything you'd like then you can see it defaults to the web view type and then our storage is gonna be weak which is fine you could go strong in some cases um, but we'll get to that in a later tutorial series is what to that storage means and the last thing that you're going to do is click connect. Now as you can see, it has established our IB outlet. It's given it a property of weak, non-atomic, and in previous Xcode 4 without hooking it up that simple way there, you'd have to go into the implementation afterwards and you'd have to synthesize the property. And I'll show you what that means here. So now we've got a name. We've, we've named our UI WebView outlet WebView. And now what we're going to do is go to the standalone editor, go over to the far left hand column, and we're going to go to the second view controller dot M. Since we've already established our outlets, now we got to tell our outlet what we want it to do in the source file here is the implementation. So now if you're unfamiliar with some of this, we'll go over it in later tutorials, but these are just notes. This is importing our header file. This is going to be implements, implementing our second view controller, and this is uh, this is where we're, what we just did is we uh, established that property for our web view. Now we're synthesizing the property, 
and then the list goes on. So we'll get through it eventually, but we just got to get uh, some of the basics down and then we'll move on to that before you guys get overwhelmed and dropping out of this and not, not feeling like you can understand it because it is easy once you get used to it. So what I want you guys to do is find the view did load. And once you find the view did load, we're going to go within the, the two brackets, this one here and this one here. And we are going to basically tell our UI web view that we want to go, we want to point it to a certain URL and, and show it within that screen. So we're going to have four lines of code and they're very simple. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a string and the string is going to tell um, the future lines of code what web address we want it to go to. So simply type in a string and then we're just going to put in website as our uh, string name here. That could be anything that you guys want. And then we're going to we're going to put in our website here. So we're going to start a string with an at symbol and close it within quotes. So at the end of it we'll uh, close the quotes out. And in this case we'll go to mybringback.com close out the quotes there followed by a semicolon so that's going to be a string that we set up and we're going to tell which website we want it to go to now the next line of code we're basically going to we're, we're basically going to tell our application that this string here is a URL and that's what we want it to recognize so we're going to go ns URL and we're just going to call this URL we're going to set it equal to ns URL URL with string and we're gonna point it to our website string so we're basically formatting this string up here as a URL and then we've established a new a new variable as URL so now we're gonna go to the next line and we're gonna request this URL so NS URL request and we'll just set this uh, equal to wow request URL and we're gonna set this equal to NS URL request request with URL and then we're gonna point it to our URL there which is this variable up here so as you can see we step down we go we establish our string we put it within here and we've established a new string that we're going to put it within the request and then finally what we're going to do is we're going to tell our UI web view which is called just your web view to load the request which we've named request URL so all that work well it's not that difficult once you get it down but all of this these four lines of code just to tell our program or application that that web view has to load our website, our, our first line of code, the string website. So go ahead and click run. We're going to check it out on the web page there. Okay, so launch it. Go to the second tab that we've established the web view within. Looks like it's loading, and there we go. We've got our web page that uh, looks like you can go left, right with the scroll view, so on and so forth. And as you can see, our web page is not quite, I would say, mobile friendly at this point. But I do want to make mention to one of our friends that has a, a competition and she needs your help to win some free ink, hopefully design some cool stuff for my bring back, and uh, you guys maybe will get, do a giveaway of some shirts that maybe she'll give us, I don't know yet. But show some support, go to the website, click here to help slash vote. You guys can make a difference, that's for sure. So anyways, that's our UI view, web view within our, uh, within our constraints of our tab bar application. And then we're going to go in through and add some more stuff within our web view in the next tutorial. So before you leave, click that like button, click that subscribe button. Let us know that you guys care about what we're doing so we can help you guys move forward as programmers and bringers. All right, we'll catch you guys later.